From a distance, the Balboa Park Carousel draws in people of all ages, and most of us who grew up in San Diego took a spin at one time or another. But it also has a history that actually predates the 1915 exposition. The carousel is a 1910 Herschel Spillman menagerie carousel. And it was made in North Tonawanda, New York, uh, and shipped to California. Bill Steen is the owner of the carousel and said it was initially sent to Los Angeles and then to Tent City in Coronado in 1915. At the same time, Balboa Park was growing into a popular spot, so the original owner decided to place it by the fountain on the eastern edge of the park. They finally uh, settled down in the park in about 1922, and it was in that location by the fountain and uh, it remained there until 1968 when it was moved up to this location in the park. There's another reason why this Balbo Park carousel is so important, at least to me. I grew up here at the carousel because my grandfather got involved with it in the 20s. My parents had it in the 50s. I grew up here and you're looking at the ticket box where I sat for many hours selling tickets to put me through college. So that move from the fountain in 1968 stands out in my mind as the city asked my mom to move her carousel to make way for the Reuben H. Fleet Science Center. Now 92, my mom, Virginia Long, owned it for nearly 30 years and was proud of its unique features, especially the fine craftsmanship on each animal. They're hand carved. And I know the kind of wood, linden wood, from the linden trees in London, in England. Many of the horses have real horse tails, which raises an interesting story for both my mom and me. The zoo is very kind, and they kill horses when they're old and feed the meat to the uh, tigers and lions, and they would cut off the pretty uh, tails. What she didn't tell you is that she hated to see those bloody tails that had just been removed from the horses. So I went with her and took the tails to the tanner, where I watched them clean them for the carousel. I was a kid, and I didn't care. And for kids on the ride itself, an added feature is the ring toss with a surprise for a lucky rider or two. If you catch the ring, the brass ring, you get a free ride. And I believe we are the only active ring toss game west of the Mississippi. There is a standard rule, though, that only the employees can move about during the ride. Once, I remember hearing how Robert Preston, who played Professor Harold Hill in the movie The Music Man, rode the carousel and wouldn't stay still. If I stumbled and I busted my whatchamacallit... I... My father gave him several warnings and finally stopped the carousel and kicked Preston off. As a kid, I couldn't believe my father kicked an actor off our merry-go-round. Dad later told me Preston had too much to drink. My father was running the carousel that day from its center, where you'll find all of the equipment that makes it whirl. Bill Brown is the carousel operator now and has been doing so for over 42 years. This is all original. This is all over 100 years old. This is the brake, which we put on and we're stopping, and this is the clutch we pull on to start the carousel, but this is, we do it exactly the same way that they did uh, over 100 years ago. We have the same uh, timer here. We have a, it's a three minute timer. It's what they used back then. Almost everything on the carousel is original, including the band organ and the hand painted murals above the animals. And as you can well imagine, the maintenance is extensive and is a year round labor of love. It's a well loved merry ground. And I'm so glad there's a variety of animals, tigers and lions and pigs and cats, because I painted the animals. And if they were all horses, I would have been very bored. It's been 35 years of, of loving care, and carrying on the fine traditions that Virginia and uh, Clarence Wilk and her dad uh, set up for the Merrigan. So little has changed over these, gosh, 90 years that the two families have owned or operated the Merrigan. So as you head to Balboa Park to celebrate its history, take a spin on the carousel, which truly can take you back in time. Sally Hickson, KPBS News.